hikes more. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I do a lot of hiking and running, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with Gary here, we've we've walked the line together a couple times, and yeah. I, this ain't nothing. Bring it on. Yeah. You know, keep bringing it. I can do this. And I can yeah. tell you from day one, hiking them, that was our other yeah. MCAD. He's back there, black hard hat on. He uh, came from Alaska, full of energy, and hiking us. Where we all are. You know, it's interesting when you talk about, um, you know, the capabilities of training and all the things that you're doing. You know, some people think that empowering the Marine is, you know, go do it, figure it out. I'm going to be in my office. You know, uh, you know, really empowering somebody is giving them the knowledge, the capability, the teamwork. And, you know, behind it, you know, and that's how you come home with. From they our end, it's yeah. been very gratifying to watch that progression, to watch them show up on the line with just very basic training to where they are now. I mean, it's night and day. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's night and day, and it's, it's very... ...on a website that if uh, Marines are interested in a follow-on career or just getting trained up or uh, potentially even creating... Uh, training modules for right. them such that they can stay trained from season to season or throughout the end of their career. There's been a ton of interest both with the Marines and with uh, yeah. our previous half battalion that was actually six months out of the year and you know it, it, it's tough when, when you lose that and they're just waiting to come back so I think transitioning a Marine into that would be be, be a good stepping stone. There's a go. certain DNA that somebody there. has who wants to do something inherently hard difficult, doesn't shy away from it, and uh, says, you know, I want to be part of a team that's do doing something important for America. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's a DNA, and it's, and it's satisfied in so many different walks of life, and this is just a perfect example of how that common DNA of, of you know, folks who, you know, step on the yellow footprints at Paris Island or MCRD at San Diego, there's that common DNA with some of these uh, firefighters and first responders out here. Yes, ma'am. They got nuked, and there's nothing we can do about yeah. it. Um, unfortunately, you know, we're seeing that more and more with, for 75 years, we've kind of, we'll talk and walk. Yeah, yeah. If you're good with that. Yeah. This is where they anchored it. <laughs> awesome. I'll, I'll leave you to it, okay? Thank you, man. Have a really good job. Good job. Morning, man. Yeah, What's your ammo like? I'm a 1345 as well, man. You are? Yes, are you missing your heavy equipment as well? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So how do you feel about this mission? Is it as fun? Yes, ma'am. It would? Yes, ma'am. Oh, all right, we need to change your training schedule. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just going to get you out of mind. We're, we're not going to make you a heavy equipment operator anymore. Good to go, man. Mm. You're, 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 I, I, I don't know that your chief warrant is happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you think about that? You think we'd be probably about a week into it and they'd be like, no. This has been a dozer appreciation month. For them. <laughs> so. Are you going to go back and hook some heavy equipment? They will. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Well, I'm really proud of the work you guys are doing. Thank you, man. Really good job, okay? Awesome. All right, we'll get you back with your heavy equipment sometime, right? <laughs> Not quite yet. Really am. You know, when you get a call for a mission like this and you, <laughs> you want to send Marines. Yep. <laughs> You were just about to tell me your story. No, ma'am, I wasn't. No, you weren't. <laughs> Did your recruiter lie to you? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, My recruiter lied happened. to me, too. I, I, that's he all right. He lied to you. He told you travel and adventure, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. He said, go travel the world. That's awesome. Now, if you were going to go back a year and you were going to talk to former you, what would you tell you? <laughs> Unless you have some long story you want to tell me. Oh, we got the quantity of those. Come on, man. Come on, How are you? Did you guys have the second to stop and freaking famous? Copy. You probably didn't realize that. Did you guys realize how famous? Not you in specifically, Willis. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've not yeah. specifically not seen your name in any radio traffic or email. Uh, let's keep it that way, okay? <laughs> it's an easy pick for uh, uh, Colonel C and me and Sergeant Major just go. All right, there's a tough mission. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. Uh, we don't know what it's going to be like. 